Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Guileen. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to try out these beautiful new polishes from Parrot Polish. Um, he put them on his Facebook group, asked if anybody wanted them, and I immediately <laughs> private messaged him and said, hey, I want them. Give them to me. How much you want? So he quoted me a price and I went to PayPal and paid him and a couple days later, ta-da, they showed up. Um, so it's a multi-chrome, so they shift different colors, you know, they shift like, this one is um, kind of a burgundy to green, and I'm going to show you the names on the bottom, what the psycho something. I can't, the font is very small and hard for me to read. Um, I don't know. Star, is that star? I don't know. Anyway, there they are. Look how gorgeous that green is. And it shifts blue. And anyway, a linear hollow, if you don't know, is one that's very fine. It's not like glittery, chunky glitter. It's very smooth. Um, these are just beautiful. I am not sure I put them with black and over black, but I don't know that they have to be a lot of times anymore. They're so pigmented. I'm pretty sure that you could paint them on your nails uh, in two coats, no problem, and get an amazing look. They kind of look magnetic on the nail because they catch the light like um, and glow like magnetics do, but they're not magnetic. Anyway, Michelle Bean Rose is on Instagram and she swatched them all. Or you can go join Parrot Polish people on Facebook. I'll put all the links below. These are the marbles I did. And then I'm going to do another one to show you. That one is perfect. That one I recorded in a reel for Instagram and it's not the same ratio on the camera so um i didn't show you that you can go to instagram and watch my reel anyway uh, michelle she swatched them all so you can go see her beautiful work oh my gosh she did a fluid art with them jaw dropping gorgeous is what that was but we're gonna do water marble with some tequila in a bottle no, it's not tequila. I'm teasing. Um, <laughs> I use bottled water. I just stick a bottle of water in my windowsill, and it's the same room as my polish and the same room I do my nails. So, therefore, it is room temperature. Room temperature is wherever you are. Everything is together. And I have very hard water, so I use bottled water. Um, the only thing that ever affects water marbling for me is humidity extreme humidity even if you got the air on and it's humid out i i fight it anyway these are gorgeous and they work so well in the water uh, on my nails i have his pitch black and it is a one coat black very nice formula these are all beautiful david doesn't make crappy polish okay they are a little pricey because I know these pigments are expensive. And I'm going to put a couple of drops of the black in first just so that I can um, swirl it around and anchor to the edge. And I'm not going to be wasting any of the multi-chromes going to the edge. It just is going to be, be a much better flu. And I'm going to start dropping. Um, you can touch the water. I get that question a lot. Um, I do kind of put the brush so close. It's the drop is touching the water as it drips off the brush, if that makes sense. Did I explain that right? Anyway, and then I'm alternating that with the black. And you can see how well they're spreading. And if you don't drop it close to the water, um, your polish is more than likely just going to go bloop and drop to the bottom, the drip drop will. You just have to be um, careful with your placement to get 
a bullseye like this and I'm turning that to make sure that they've spread all they're going to so I can go ahead and finish off with um, black in the middle and then I decide not to do any more rings I think that that's enough um, so five colors and black in between each one and then I finished it with black and then I'm going to do a swirly hypto hypnotic <laughs> a hypto bus <laughs> I am using a toothpick I usually use a uh, six inch hat pin I get on Amazon but not everybody has that everybody's got a toothpick if you don't got one you can go steal one from a restaurant I do condone that I'm just gonna draw uh, this is real time as you see I'm drawing pretty slow wiping off that tool every time you get through with a pass if you feel like it's not gonna it's too dry you can't go any farther stop and I'm just gonna keep going around and drawing a swirl in and it you see it pulling there it is drying so I am going to finish this up with a little swirl at the end to kind of pull them all together and I did dip directly down the middle of it once and pull it up and wipe that off just so it kind of pulled it in um, I am using a creative shop stamper and I'm gonna I want that polish to dry a little bit on the top so you know I'm talking over it I'm, I'm pointing at it I'm probably gonna wave at it oh on my nails on my right hand is more parrot polish it's a it's a seller so when I go outside it turns it turns a really gorgeous orange I think it's I don't know orange sickle or remind me of an orange sickle I don't know what it's called anyway waving at you water um, when you dip your nail directly in you are going to pick up the underneath side so the part you can't see is going to be different underneath depending on what how good you did this um, but when you flip your nail over that's what's going to be showing what is underneath so the purpose of doing a decal like this first is for placement second it's not a mess thirdly um, sometimes if you don't put your tool all the way through the polish into the water when you're dragging your pattern it will be muddy on the other side if you're just dragging it across the water you can count on the other side being all muddy and not not looking a perfect this is a creative shop stamper um, I don't know that they're available anymore I don't know I love this stamper because it's squishy it's kind of flat it's it's just the perfect size for doing a water marble in a shot glass and um, please make sure you're cleaning your stamper off on a lint-free roller or lint free tape lint free is that one a, a lint roller <laughs> you'll be free of lint <laughs> with a lint roller <laughs> okay so um, I clean that on a lint roller and I've been messing around there it is um, you see I've been practicing some Halloween designs on my lint roller here so you want to get all the dust and old polish anything that's on that stamper you want to make sure it's completely free of that so when you dip it in there you're not gonna get an air bubble cause you know something to go wrong this is pretty dry you want it that way and then when I put that in I'm going to kind of roll it like when you're stamping I think now I'm explaining underneath part being muddy if you're not careful 
<laughs> ah, so professional with your voiceover, Guileen. And, oh, go ahead, do it, do it. Yay! You saw how dry it was on the edge there. So you are going to push it down a little bit, but not so much you're pushing water out of it. And there it is. Um, it's okay. It's not as fabulous as that first one I, I did. Uh, you don't really have to dry it. Just set it aside because if you've got any water or air bubbles in there, you don't want to touch them and pop them. And um, there's the perfect one. <laughs> and there's that one. It's okay. And this was one that I didn't anchor the water, the, the polish good enough, and it was floating around and I was having issues with it. Anyway. Anywho, of course I didn't film the best one. Um, I use Wet n Wild Nail Protector, you know, and I know I'll hear on the comments, oh yeah, you can get that at the dollar store. In my area, I cannot get it at the dollar store, at Dollar Tree, at Walmart, R Walgreens, any of them. They don't sell it in my area anymore. Everybody got rid of Wet n Wild. Why, I don't know. So I went online and bought 10 of those. So I don't need any more. Plus I've got umpteen polishes here. I just love those for decals. Um, I have plenty of base coat, um, Adore Colors, Bases Loaded Lacquer, Maniology, um, Purple Willow Apothecary. I've got tons of sticky base coat that do work. I just like this one the best. It stays so pliable. Do not use regular quick dry top coat. It will dry too crispy for you to use. So I did this yesterday. And I probably should have hit that with the nail protector again, put another coat, made it a little thicker, and it would be more pliable now. You need to wait a good 20 minutes after you paint it to be able to peel it off. But as you can see, the back is perfect too. But sometimes I've come across a lot of them that were muddy that I didn't do a good enough job going all the way through the polish and the water and just drug, drug it on the top of the water and it is muddy underneath and I'm just going to try to figure out what parts I want to make a decal out of or if you're a can in Canada it's a it's a decal and um, I also have a nail a, a template from um, um, Moira I don't think they're available anymore and I haven't found any that were like this again I bought it in a in a group buy so there's my template back there so that I can either trace it or set it on top and just find what part of that decal I want to use again you're gonna use some sort of sticky base coat on your nail over the top of that black or whatever you've used because you want to make sure after all this work that decal sticks to your nails. And I have a fancy, smancy little um, tweezer thingy from Maniology clamp crusher, whatever. And I like that because when I squeeze it, it opens and I pick up the decal and then I let go of it and I don't have to try to hold it like a pair of tweezers closed the whole time there it is and you know clippy clamp um, make sure that you've done a very thin coat of the base coat and you've covered your entire nail all the way to the edges but not on your skin because you want it to stick you know evenly all over and you don't want it so thick that you're dissolving your decal when you put that on. Oh, the rules. So many rules, Guileen. Um, if you have any other questions, you can put that down in the description box and I'll try to get to everybody's answers. I read all your comments.
and I pretty much answer everybody. Um, and if you have any questions, it's probably because you haven't watched the video good enough and you weren't listening or you had me on times two and I'm just going Um, this the warmth of your skin will help form that too I'm just gonna push it all over the place and I'm gonna fold the edge over um, I don't know why I shook that in your face but there you go there it is again and fold it over to the tips and seal that down as well as you can just you know like that and then you're going to go in with acetone and you're going to dab, dab, dab most of it off. And I have put, it's covered in acetone. I've had this brush forever. I've got a new one. It's from Maniology, but I try not to use it until I've completely destroyed this one. Um, I do have Rivet Stick It's Acetone Additive in this acetone. And it's just a moisturizer and it really helps when you're doing cleanup. And you see the black that's on that paper towel? after one swipe of that across um, the edge. I'm going to do this so it's sealed. You want to seal that decal down on the edges, but you don't want to flood it with acetone. But you're going to get black on that or whatever color. And then you're, if you don't wipe your brush off every time and look, do you see that? I almost spilled that acetone. I almost did it. And that would have hit that that would have run right into that decal the rest of that decal back there and oh I'd have been mad and <laughs> I'm just gonna use use the acetone to kind of take off the excess that I flipped around the edge there or you can trim it it's up to you if I trim it I end up getting it too short all right there they all are so beautiful oh my gosh I love this polish do you see what I mean it kind of looks like it glows so much it's like a magnetic so pretty oh my gosh and you should see it in the Sun I can't pictures out in the Sun never work well for me um, and then you're gonna take your favorite top coat and I think I said David has a feather dust and I've never tried that and I need to get some um, adored colors top coat and drop the other one break your glass there you go uh, purple will apothecary I love scented top coats um, but I really for decals, I want a thick, quick dry that really seals that all in. And I have a peel off base coat on and I'm kicking myself for that because I wanted to keep this forever, but we're not going to get into peel offs. Okay. Look how gorgeous top coat. That's so pretty. Uh, my thumb, my thumb and my flipping finger in the middle are my favorite. All right, you guys, um, go follow the links below to find this polish. <laughs> or just go to the Facebook group and say, hey, David, I want the polish. And how much you want for it, pay, PayPal him, tell him which ones you want. Um, like I said, go check out um, the Facebook group. You'll see Michelle's uh, swatches in there. Check out Instagram. Put her link down there. Check them all out. Look at them. I love these. They water marbled beautifully. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Hey. Go go right up there and I can get a picture of you. I go close that window. No, don't close me in. Oh no. No. What? Oh. I'm in jail. Watch your fingers. Locking me in jail, Mom. He locked me in jail. <laughs> hey, you lock somebody else in jail now. <laughs> Did you take all of their, their gems? Yes. Why? They're all their gone. stones? Now they're yours, you put them in your pockets? They're all gone.